Hello YouTube, this is Tech Computers bringing another video of how to install a video card into your computer. This is your host, Charlie. So, what's up everybody? So, I took my old video card already, and it was a 1090X. I stuck in my other system, Ryzen, which you saw in the previous spot video. So now that thing has two 1090X MSI 8 gig cards. Um, I got lucky today, and was able to train my PS4, slam 500 gig. Uh, system. So I paid about a buck twenty for somebody else on Facebook and tried it on Facebook again for a 580 RX MSI 8 gig video card. Okay, if you guys can see this. Alright. Ah. Uh, probably just a moment here. My tripod kind of had a, a mishap here. There. Anyways, um, sorry about the camera malfunctioning there, but yeah. Anyhow, so I am trade my PS4 for this 580 RX video card, and yeah, yeah, a little use, a little dusty inside. You guys can see here. A little bit. Mm, not too much though. Just a little bit. So, see what happens. Yeah, got some of that. Not too worried. It's pretty clean though. So, further, let's get it installed. First thing you do, make sure your video card is out of the way, of course. So, that's, that's a gimme. Now, change it. Station is trying to find this a little bit better. There we go. Now you guys see down below, these are what you call your PCI Express 16 slots. This is usually where you put your video card up. You guys do make video cards for slots like the X1, X4 slots. You also have a slot called A6 and X8. X8 slots are about half of this. All four sides just only has half the pins. And then your X6 slides about from my fingertip to about right here. And yes, I make video cards for that too. Mostly for your X1, X4 slots, is usually for your SSD drives or like TV tuners, sound cards. There would be expansion cards like that, or your SATA or RAID. But for video cards, I usually use the X16 slot, which is a big long one. And basically, what you do is you line your video card out with the back plate, and you look carefully. I know you guys can see this. I'll get my camera out here, my my, my phone here. And you guys look very closely. You got to line the PVC, PVC or PVP, sorry, um, up with the PCI Express slot. Once you have that, you just push down firmly. Now, you also make sure to push down towards I/O. Now, usually you hear a click, but if you guys saw down here, I actually don't have my clips on here anymore. They, I broke them off to make swapping cards out in and, in and out a lot easier. Now, might some people say that's a bad idea, but honestly, it makes it a lot easier because the video card still won't come out. Especially when we put the single screw in the center of the uh, plate. And make sure it's tight. Call my work towards the end a little bit, but like I said, it won't come out. Mainly because all the force is dedicated to the back of the case. So, yeah. Woo. Anyhow, next you gotta make sure you have a, for this car specifically, it requires an 8 pin power connector. Which I'll put the camera over here a little bit so you guys see that better. Bring this back a little bit. So, make sure you have your handy dandy 8 pin connector, which I do. So, there's little teeth right here you can see here. The big teeth right here. Make sure that rest it correctly against the brace of the plug of the six-pin connector. That way, they don't slide off. See, but you don't have them lined up, they can go all over the place. And you don't want that. Now, I saw some people where you can put this pin, this connector in first. 
which is no big deal. You can't, honestly, because you give you no know, feedback. Then you put the connector in. The others who insist about make sure this connector rests against this properly and hold it together and press it in the video card. Make sure you line the pins correctly and you hear a little click and it's in. So, and then my work can't fall because it's being a pain in my butt. Anyways, and that's how you install a video card. Straightforward, very easy. Now, Another thing too, make sure you're working on like a wooden surface because that takes the electricity discharge. And if you really want to be more cautious, you get a little wristband that and it has a metal clip that you can keep on the side of your case or tray or something to ground you. So you won't statically charge any of your components. I haven't had that experience yet, so I'm gonna keep it that way. If you're going with the wristband when you do your video card installation, they cost about $5, $6 on eBay, Amazon, local electronic store sells them. Super easy. Buy them to your wrist, clip them, you're done. But anyhow, so this is all set up. I have a monitor behind me, as you can see. I'm going to hook that monitor up to the system, run a uh, power, connect, power cord to the power supply here. And I'll turn it on so you can see how everything works. So bear with me. But before I do that, I'm also put step in the back on to keep any dust out of the system. And before I forget, we saw my set connectors are connected too. Okay, let's run a new connector in here from other drive, so that's one thing I like this door. This board is kind of complicated. It has like five set of connectors. Which is like my other board who has like nine or ten has like ten. And my other system has like eight. So I'm kinda of jealous of the other boards have more set of connectors than this one does. But honestly I got this board and CPU from Craigslist for like like a but the RAM and clear for about one twenty. So I can't complain. Eight core processor, sixteen gigs RAM. So Hey, it's pretty good. Now, this case is awfully stinking heavy, so bear with me. Run my desk out a little bit. Uh, Work on my, my handy dandy cable. Now, it's also best to make sure your power supply is turned off. Before you plug it in, because by doing so, it ensures that no charge gets through your system that's unwanted. If you enjoy watch, watch my hair. Let's plug in and plug in the monitor. Turn that on. Now, if you're looking for some more, I am going to need my desk here, plug in the cable. Well, power connector, sorry. Okay, that's all hooked up. Yeah, that makes some noise, doesn't it? <laughs> and I just flip the switch. You have a few seconds for the power to search through the system. Then I hit the giant red button, or black button, green button, whatever color button you have for your case. And voila, it's alive. Now, there they gave me a keyboard and mouse, so right back.
Heading back with a keyboard and mouse. There's the mouse. And then hit the new one. This is kind of old keyboards because I buy most of my keyboards from like thrift stores and whatnot. Because, yeah, keyboards like dollar or something. It's, uh, it makes it easy. Now, find that one key here. So you me a bit. So you me a different keyboard for this. I think this keyboard works. Oh, you made Ah, here we go. Dell HP mouse or a Dell keyboard. Bam. Run default because well it's just it hasn't been sitting for about six months or so so I'm pretty sure I probably gotta change the um, things around so but in regards let me turn this around here As you see we have picture there's a I'm working on updates here. Yeah, see here. It's at 99%. Now, you might see lines on the screen. It shows the webcam I'm using. It covers great 1080p. I mean, it really does. It's just that, unfortunately, it doesn't record the refresh rate fast enough. So, got my password in here. Bam, we get video. So, yeah. Now I stop using my test bench to record videos on and everything. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys should uh, get a video of it real fast. That is my test bench. It's a uh, 760. GTX, 4 gig video card, and it has an i7 4770K, and yeah, 16 gigs of RAM, no, not 16, 24 gigs of RAM, I was sick. So, yeah, it's a 240 gig SSD drive with a 120 gig SD drive for recording. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. And that's such a load otherwise because, well, I don't have my Ethernet cable plugged in, but there you go. How to install a video card. Now, in part two of this video, I'll show you guys how to install the software and everything else. So, thanks for watching. Take care.